Hi guys, welcome to another episode of I'm Your TV One on One. I'm particularly very excited about today's episode because I've got my very favorite, the whole Ghana. I don't know you're my favorite. And after she's been in the limelight in our faces for so many years, she's finally getting to the bag. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the one and only if you are is here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again to the yes. back. Yes, how are you? I'm amazing. You are always in such a good mood. Like anytime yes. I see you, you're always smiling. Yes. Do you ever get angry? Of course, but you know, I'm so full of positive energy. I don't like negative energy. Okay. So even if I if I get angry it's for two seconds, and if then, I get sad, it's for two seconds. And then, and then, yeah, unless it's a heartbreak, the yeah. heartbreak, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I Tell like me to about be, it. I like to be happy, you know, like I don't know. I don't like being sad. I mean happy is good. Yeah, happy is good. Happy keeps you younger, looking fresh all the time. Period. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, happy new year. Happy new year, happy new what year. What was your new year's resolution for 2023? Get into the bag. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, nah, like my new year was really like, it's, uh, it's all about making money, you know, investing in myself, investing mm -hmm. in, you know, just, just, just making money. Like I said, get into the bag. Yeah. Uh, this year is all about making money moves and business. Okay. Like I'm done with love yeah. for now. Okay. So I'm just focusing on getting into the bag. Like I said. Okay. Yeah. Now get into the bag yeah. and uh, focusing on making <clears throat> money. Obviously, this new path that you are now embracing mm -hmm. is going to take a lot of money from you, from your pocket. So, uh, how are you investing in this new journey? Who is investing? Um, who is the one taking care of you know making sure you're looking good in camera? I make sure I look good all the time. Everything. I make sure I look good all the time. Um, I'm a kind of person like I like to I save. I don't I mean this I means funny sick by heart. Okay. You know? And obviously God being so amazing that because I have a good heart, I attract good people. Okay. I have um people who like to just, you know, give me money because just like that. Yeah. Honestly, like me me cow, people free some are going like me trying to do. Yeah. But I have people who just wanna send me money. Even on my Snapchat, mm -hmm. there are guys who wanna send me momo. Just because Just because I'm a that I'm pretty Yeah. <laughs> But obviously, I, 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 I do have an investor, um, one of my uncles, like, he's a major supportive person in my life, okay. like, even my music videos and stuff, like, he's, he's willing to, like, invest, because he sees the talent in me. Mm -hmm. This music thing, I started about, I started working on my music about three years ago now. Okay. I've been low-key going on um, to the studio for mm -hmm. the past three years okay. and whatnot, so, yeah, my uncle is a very supportive person, and also, you know me, I make money from social media, like, yeah. with my numbers, I make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. My Snapchat, I can take $1,000 for an ad. Yeah. Of okay. course, of course, I can also take 2000 depending yeah. on the company and yeah, their yeah, budget. Yeah. Like, my social media platform, I make a lot of money. Okay. Even to make an appearance at a club, I yeah. charge. Yeah. I make, I make money from that, so... I guess it's good to be pretty. Good now, be three girl. years ago, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's good to be pretty. But three years ago, what was it? What was that point that made you say, okay, I'm going to hit the studio. This is the time for me to start working on my music. Honestly, yeah. Um, before, no, like I, I, I already had an ear for music. I had an, I had an ear for like good music. music yeah. There are some people's songs that I blew up because like I had an ear for good music. Yeah. So I'm like, why don't I just try? But even prior to three years, no, not like. I played around with sounds. Mm -hmm. um, I'll Google, uh, I'll go on YouTube and listen to beats and I'll play around with sounds and start writing. So yeah. one of my friends who's in the industry said that you should take this thing serious. Yeah. So he even gave me a song that he wrote, but um, that time I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know my voice. So Kwame Abwa, he actually DM'd me on Instagram. He mm -hmm. said, why don't you do music? Yeah. I'm like, well, surprisingly, I've, I've already started working on doing music. So. I started working with him, going to the studio. So he actually helped coach me and helped me find my voice. Okay. Yeah, helped me, taught me how to write um, melodies, creating melodies and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So music, Nindy, I think it's always been a part of me. Okay. I remember when I was 14, 15, that's how I never took gospel. Hey, <laughs> hey, to hey pray, if you're there, a gospel musician, hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I used to pray like, God, I really want a voice. I really want a voice. Yeah. I, I really want to sing. Yeah. I love singing. Okay. So. I mean, now you're doing it. Yeah. No. So three years down the line after being in the studio finding your voice working on your music getting the lyrics right why did you think that 2023 was the best year to let the world finally hear it i felt like to be very honest i even wanted to release it last year but maybe you'll be like i'm a perfectionist if something is not right for me if it's not up to 10 for me mm -hmm. i won't release it so 2023 i felt like okay you know what it's a new era for me yeah. i'm stepping into 
a new, I'm even a new person. So I felt like 2023 is the time that I should actually release it. If I don't release it now, then I will never release, release it. it yeah. So that's why I purposely released it on January 1st. Listen, when I heard the <laughs> teaser, I was like, yes, she's finally doing it. Right? Oh, finally doing yes, it. Yes, because I was one of those persons who was, who, who was always like, you know what? If this girl goes into music, she's going to kill it. Wow. Because right now in the industry, the people who have your looks, mm -hmm. the people who have your sex appeal, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. people who have, you know, just like your aura. Right, are the ones killing it? Yeah. Megan, the star, yeah, the Cardi, city girls, Doja Cat, like, yeah. Right, exactly. I'm like, if this girl goes into music, it's gonna be. And then so when I saw the teaser, I was like, yes, yes. she's finally <laughs> doing it. Yeah, but the reception for getting to the back has yeah. been mixed. Yeah. People are critiquing you. Yeah, and I love it. I love it. On Twitter. I love it. I love being critiqued and I love proving people wrong. Yeah. I love for people to see me like, oh, girl, we're doing to me yet. And yeah. then, boom, I surprise you. Yeah. So even getting to the bag is not really a single for me. It's not my first single. Okay. It's just, yeah, like I just put it out there for you guys An to see. introduction. Teach it. Exactly. Not my real single. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> My real single, yeah, it's 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 a beautiful song. It's called Sika. Oh. Yeah, it's um, it's 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 a vibe. Oh. I'm sure after this, I'll play it for you. Yeah, <laughs> exclusive, exclusive. I can't wait. But you know, some people feel that you did not write the lyrics to get into the bag. <sighs> Tell them right now. I write everything myself. I don't, I don't even think I'm a good writer. Yeah. I'm really willing to work with other writers so I can even improve in writing myself. Okay. I write everything myself. All 15 or 20 songs I've written, I wrote everything what? myself. What? Yes. 15? Yeah, I've written a lot of songs. Every day I'm writing. Okay. I was in the studio three days ago. I just made an, I'm a piano song. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm always writing. I'm, I, like I said, I'm a perfectionist, and I always want to be the best of the best of anything I do. Okay. I will get into the bag myself. Like, I wrote it three years ago. So imagine that song, and imagine what I'm written now. now. Yeah. So what was the inspiration for getting to so the get, bag? Um... <laughs> Like I said, you know, making money. Um, the song, the song in a whole, it it, it captures me. Yeah. Because no, 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 exactly, <laughs> exactly. Jabin out of rap. I'm from Jabin. BK raised me. Yeah, Brooklyn raised yeah, me. Yeah. Ghana, Ghana is where I'm from. You get what I'm saying? So the song is literally it, it explains me in a whole. Okay. The different different parts of me. Mm -hmm. The bad bitch side. Yeah. The expensive bitch side. Okay. You know so <laughs> oh boy, you know you're in the eggs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Now, <laughs> you were on UTV a couple of days ago, <laughs> and you were previewing the song, mm -hmm. and man, the reaction from Diana Samoa, I'm like, yo, she's a meme now, because of Yo, I, I even have the meme in my phone. <laughs> I like, love it. I just want to do the make on I just want to I just want to do the make on So that was the reaction. That was like, the reaction. She didn't, like, she didn't think it was cringy. It was no, just that she didn't even know what I was saying. Oh. She didn't even know what I was saying. Oh. But even after the show, um, um, what's his name? Akrobato was like, I should continue because this lane I'm doing, nobody in Ghana is doing right. it. Right. Nobody's representing for bad bitches. Nobody's okay. doing it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, oh, I'm going to give you a gift. I'm going to give you a gift. Oh, so that was what that was she told the, you. The, the I mean, off. when we were watching from our homes, I know. We were like, oh my God, this woman thinks this is so cringy. I know. I don't know, some more this. So I was like, okay. No. But she didn't hear what I was saying. On to Shuhi. What's it mean to do? I can't And the next time, Pacho, breaking it down, my She got to speed up. Brooklyn accents. When she, I say, she, I, yeah. she got, she, y'all got to speed up. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't slow down. Y'all got to speed up. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you are, you are very supportive yes. of the people that you love. Yes. Um, your friends or yes. associates yes. in the industry, we've seen how you come hard for some of them. Yes. You've played their music. You've promoted it without them asking you yes. and all that. When you dropped Get Into The Bag, did you get the same? No, um, kind of I support. didn't. I actually didn't get the same support. I actually expected it. You know, you I'm, expected them yeah, not to support. Yeah, of course, you. because sir, I've been in the industry for long. Even my movies that I do, but they don't post it. So how much for my music? So, yeah. but obviously, Jackie posted it. Mm -hmm. Um, a few, one or two friends that I know, they posted it. But I wasn't expecting for people to actually post it because I didn't. They know. I want to prove myself to them. Yeah. They might think so I've grown a media. Oh, okay. But yeah, see, it's okay. almost family series. But yeah. still, no. If I've supported you, it's only. <sighs> cool for you to you know reciprocate the support but yeah. i'm not entitled okay. i don't feel entitled it's, okay. it's not by force for people to support you but i mean if you're the one doing it you should expect that 
you know, I know that's your thing, time. Expectations are the one that actually bring disappointment to myself. Okay. I don't want to expect for anybody to support me the way I've supported them because, you know, my support was genuine. Okay. Nobody ever paid me for, for to promote their music. Mm -hmm. I like it and I want the world to hear it because at the end of the day, you know, me promoting it will put, will put it on the map. So yeah. why not? Okay. So, yeah, I mean, I didn't expect for people to, to support me at all. But in the long run, they ain't going to have no choice but to support it because they're actually going to fuck with it. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> now you have a lot of. We've seen you hanging out with a lot of them. R2Bs, you're yes. cool with them. Can mm -hmm. Promise, you're cool yes. with these guys. Kill Beats and, and, and cool. Did they post your music? No. Do you hold it against them? No. Not at all? No. I don't. Before you released the song, did you like play to so them? They knew. Preview? Kill Beats knew. They, 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 I, don't know if they, I don't know if I played this specific song, but I play a lot of my songs to them. Kill to Beats them. heard the songs. Okay. Promise. They are uh, uh, payday. They all, they all knew I was working on music, on music for the past few years. And what did they tell you? Like They, they love it. They say, yeah, if you, you have to do it, you for do it, we for do it. But they didn't think I was serious. Uh. They didn't think I was serious okay. because every day I said I'm gonna do, it, I'm gonna do, it. but I never actually had released it because obviously, yeah. like I said, I wanted it to reach a certain point before I released it. Yeah. So they all knew, all the boys knew, but they didn't mm -hmm. post. And I don't really care. So now that you've you've told them that yo, I was serious about it. Do you think that you're in your next single, yes, definitely, they are going to say? I, okay, I feel like I they think. will. Yeah, I feel like they will. Did Quesiata post the song? He never posted anything of me. He's <laughs> never posted anything. Nah, I've never seen him post anything of me. But, okay. Like, I think even with my African Love, the reality show that I yeah. did, he had, I think he had posted, he had posted on his story once. But, obviously, you see how hard I go for go him. Go for him, like, yeah. It, yeah, but he never, he never posted the song. He never posted. And did you take it personally? Because mm -mm. me and we're not even, like, we're not even cool, so I don't even care if, if he's... How long have you guys not been cool for? A year now. Are you serious? Yeah, I think it's a like, year. I think last year December. Was that was that was after before he, that was even um, was that after his his album? It was launched? before even during his album launch. He and I weren't cool like that. But you but went. I still then. went. Why? Because I wanted to support. Like I have unconditional love for people until you do something detrimental. Then it's like, nah, I cut you off for good for good. So it's been a year that you guys haven't been like. Cool, 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 cool. Like cool. We used to. So why are you not talking about it? Because I'm now granting interviews. Okay. Right. If it wasn't for interviews, nobody would ask me. Nobody would even know. Yeah. And I've been on. I've been on. Followed him on Instagram and Twitter. Hmm. Yeah. So like, obviously, and I purposely didn't grant interviews because I knew that I would be doing the music, and then that's the only time I'd even want to grant music if it's gonna benefit me. Yeah. Before interviews, not me. I know it will only benefit the interviewer. But me that I was getting interviewed now, I wasn't getting any benefit. Yeah. So now I was like, if I'm going on interviews, no, I got to talk about my about, music. Yeah. I got to talk about my, my project. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So. But did you ever make him aware that music was something that you wanted to venture into? He knew. He knew, of course. He's the one who even said, yo, you should really do it. Take it serious. Take it serious. He knew. And, he's now, and now it's out and he's not supporting. Oh, say, we're not, we're not cool. He won't support you. I mean, uh, my next question was going to be <laughs> about the fact that maybe you guys is, you know, uh, break up, let me put it that up. way. It's not, not a love, love breakup, part <laughs> sure. My mom fan is that. But friends, even friends break yeah, up. Yeah, friends break up. Know, up right? Right. Yeah, so a friendship break up. I thought it was like quite recent. So, yeah. so I was going to ask if it was because of the recent photo he posted with this girl that has gone viral. No, I even girl. knew about the girl. You knew? Mm hmm. Okay. Exclusive and I. <laughs> So, be, so people have this conception that, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's because, because, of, because I, I'm going to post your mom. And yeah. you know when he, I think the girl posted, because I, I think it was his birthday, and then she posted. Yeah. Yeah, I knew about the girl. So it's not like because of the girl that yeah, I'm behaving the way that I'm behaving. It's just the timeline of it. Because you never spoke about it. Exactly. Like, for a year. Exactly. And then exactly. This happens, and then you're on interviews, exactly. and then you're talking about it. Exactly. So people assume. Exactly. Anyways, <laughs> we have our facts right now. Exactly. Because he has been with this girl. Right. For a while now, but let's talk about fix the country. Yes, is that something you would ever want to take on again in the future? Definitely, after your past experience, definitely, but a different route. Okay, the fix the country thing, you know, obviously, it was. It was something that I embarked on with uh, Kalijay and the other people because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you know, 
I have a lot of compassion for Ghanaians. Like, I see how people are suffering each and every day. Yeah. We all complain every day about every certain day. things that's going on in this country. Yeah. So why not use my platform and, you know, talk about it? Mm -hmm. But it got too extreme. It got too political. Yeah. And I didn't want it to go that direction. Yeah. To the point where I started getting attacked, you know, yeah. uh, verbally. People calling me. My number was leaked on the on, internet. People yeah. were calling me, giving me threats. My mom was so afraid for my life. She mm -hmm. wanted me to come back to New York just so I can be safe. Because yeah. she felt like something would have happened to me. Yeah. And, you know, Africa, no, Africa politics is, 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 is not as democratic as... In the U.S. In exactly. the U.S., you can be in opposition, protest, and still be safe. Exactly. So... Now, I rather use my NGO to fix the country. Okay. So if there's things that I can do, as in providing water to rural communities, tables, chairs, hospital beds, whatever it is that I can do okay. to help fix the country, I will That's do. That's what you're going But to now, do. attacking the government and stuff, um, I mean, I'll still speak my mind on, on Twitter, mm -hmm. but the, the direction that we took with Fix the Country, I, I, I don't think I'll do it again because it got too extreme. Okay. Yeah. So tell us about your NGO. So Adonti Foundation is um, an NGO that I've had for a few years now where, like I said, we um, provide solutions to societal needs, mm -hmm. whether it's kids who need laptops, whether it's um, certain schools who don't even have... Last Before I went to America, we went to the school around Medina, the school, no, they were funded, uh, World Bank gave them funds for, uh, I guess, their bathroom to be fixed. Yeah. If you go and see the bathrooms, disgusting. The kids were actually peeing and pooping in the gutter. Like, there's this huge gutter. Yeah. So, the foundation, we actually supplied uh, a water system for them okay. and we're actually still constructing the bathrooms and stuff for them so that's the small things that we do. obviously I don't it's, it's not a big foundation yeah. you know I don't have a lot of funds to do big projects but mm -hmm. in the future I do want to do big projects like building schools and hospitals and even um, psychiatric facilities yeah. and whatnot so yeah I this year I actually want to do a uh, um, a fundraiser okay so which will also you know go to the foundation and also help help with the society societal needs and okay. stuff like that i mean yeah. we love that thank you i mean anyhow or any way you can yeah help to it's fix the country. the country and i don't I mean so because i don't i don't um protest like i don't put it out there people don't people think say oh i'm not doing it but mm. i do do it behind closed doors but it's the big projects that i actually do want to bring out oh, okay. and show people that, okay, listen, this is what Ed Odonti Foundation is about. So if you do want to donate to the foundation, then be so, yeah. So Your good. arch nemesis mm. or enemy. Why no? Okay. Oh, Lord. <laughs> do you think she's listening to your music? Um... I mean, I don't know. I'm saying, I, I think she has. I mean, I'm sure she's heard it, but I don't think she's list, like, listened. I'm sure she's heard it. But, um, but if I were here, though, I would want to listen to it. Of course you would. Cause. I'm a bad bitch. Because <laughs> <laughs> competition, eh, but... Nah, ain't no competition, because what she's doing is not what I'm doing. And what I'm doing is definitely not what she's, not, what she's doing. So ain't no competition. They could never be. They're not on my level. Personally, and I think a lot of people agree with me, we feel like your beef is just for social media sake. <laughs> Do I look like a fake ass bitch? No, I don't. I'm not. <laughs> like, I don't do that. I don't do that fake beef stuff. Like, if I don't... Like, because I, when you were shooting, what show were you guys... The, uh, the GH, GH Queens, Queens on DSCVS. Right? Uh, most of the time, there were, like, certain moments that you guys... You got heated on social media. And then we realized that it was... But I always... I said, I said, Sister Thea, when you see me in person, you don't have the same energy. On the internet, you talk a lot. But you see me in person, on set, even when we're doing... Um, I think we're shooting... We're shooting, we're shooting the, the montage. You didn't say nothing to me. But it was one time where we were shooting our confessionals. Mm -hmm. um, I was, I think I was, I was done with my makeup and she was coming to do her makeup and she came upstairs. And she said, Oh, I feel the I'm like, you're obsessed with me. Like she had all this talking, 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 but she didn't do nothing. It's like, okay. Yeah. Me, I'm not that, I don't, I don't create fake beef for, to trend. Okay. My name trends on its own. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So like I mean she she they do they do those things. She even said she even said it that day, said, um, I'm like, what? Why would I wanna fake, fake yeah? 
Because obviously, when they free the rhymes, I'm like, yes, I'm fake. They plan all that fake stuff. I don't do that. If it's fake, which if it's if it's beef on the internet, it's beef in real life. But at the end of the day, I don't even have beef with her. I just don't care for her. She is the one that's always been bothered by me because she stays talking about me. Every interview she goes and she talks about me. They don't even ask her questions about me, and she, and she talks about me. Obviously, because she's gonna trend with my name. Her music don't let her trend, so she has to use my name to trend. I love you a lot, but there are some things that you absolutely say that I don't agree with. Mm -hmm. Body shaming when it comes to sister Ifia. What do you call her hippo? It's her face, so it's not her body. <laughs> so I'm not really body shaming because she's thick and sexy. But that's right. So, so I'm face shaming, then, huh? Yes, yeah. face shaming. Yeah. So she called me a skeleton. Why don't you say? Why don't you? Why don't you tell her to shut up? She called me a skeleton. <laughs> because these are you guys are in the public eye, and people mm. keep trolling you, saying all manner of things mm -hmm. against you and mm -hmm. it, it affects all of you not just one person so if you're adding on to that don't you think at the end of the day if you want to have beef for me there's no limits like you there's not, everything is like off limits off, like, you, like there's can, no, nothing you, is you, off you limits go. i'm gonna go in so i'm gonna call you a hippo you're gonna call me a skeleton like that's just what it is and honestly i really don't care what people have to say about me because i live in my truth i know my truth i know who i am i'm sophisticated and confident in who i am so the things they say it doesn't really affect me honestly because but what if the things you say affect the other person then don't come for me <laughs> don't come for me because me man on yet maybe if you job in maybe you're crossing you <laughs> like Maybe I'm crazy. Like I'm, 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 I'm a hood ass girl, so I'm also bougie. But don't come for me, because if you come for me, you're waking up a lion. Okay. Yeah. Guys, don't step on her tail. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> if you're not ready. Thank you. <laughs> but Effia, you have become very popular because of the way you appear yeah. in public. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you look super comfortable. Mm -hmm. But I, I have to ask: mm -hmm. Are you always? 100% comfortable in every single outfit that you wear out. I'll, I'll never leave my house if I'm not comfortable. I always make sure whatever I have on, I'm comfortable in it before I leave my house. Every single thing. 99% of the time. With your nipples pointing out. Mm, nipples never. Someone was someone pointing. I want to someone pointing. Let me check if someone pointing. I'm always comfortable. Always. 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 Even when you're like in the midst of the boys, like in certain situations, it's just boys. They gotta be comfortable you. because I'm always comfortable. And the thing is, the people that are around me, they're so used to me. So it's like, oh, if you don't know what they're saying, I know it's yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think Ghanaians, well, I don't think they're still used to me yet, but they're more used to me now than when I first started, yeah. I guess, you know, when I first stepped in the scene. I wouldn't say they're used to you because still? every time something I know. comes out, like they it blows. Yeah. You know, when you have a music video, it's not a bitchy channel. Bad bitch <laughs> energy. <laughs> pop, pop, pop. <laughs> now, I know you're a fashion girl. Yes. You know the ins and outs. Mm -hmm. You know what's good, <laughs> what's not good. What is the beauty trend, Ghanaian ladies? have picked up that you absolutely hate? Oh, I honestly don't even watch them. Maybe more and more. I swear to God, honestly, I don't see them. I honestly, I don't see them. I see, I only see me and the things, the trends that I want to, I want to, I want to set. Okay. Like I started seeing girls, you know, you know how like I wear my thong outside. Okay. Okay. Sometimes they, 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 they copy blindly. Yeah. Like they try to dress a certain way, but it doesn't give because America former lifestyle no if it comes from within yeah and they try and copy like the American but without having the idea and the knowledge of where this this kind of dressing comes from yeah so I guess that's what I don't like when mm -hmm. they copy blindly okay yeah but honestly me more more me more more is there someone in particular that you think is just copying you from like head to toe I baby I don't see them I don't even if they were doing it in there in my face I don't see them like I'm so obsessed with myself. <laughs> Honestly, I, I I don't see it. But obviously, I feel like I I started I did set a certain trend. I set a trend of being comfortable in your skin, yeah. being confident, and being a bad bitch. Like yeah. wear your clothes. Don't let your clothes wear you. Yeah. That's the trend that I feel like I set. Even colored wigs. I feel like I came when I came in the industry. I didn't see people really wearing colored colored wigs. Mm -hmm. I didn't really see people being confident to wear a bikini and post it. Yeah. I didn't see those things when yeah. I first came in the industry. 
so I feel like I set those trends and it's good because at the end of the day, actually, what is the big deal about a woman wearing a bikini and posting it? Why is she in a shower? Do you know why? There are some real prostitutes that are covered from head to motherfucking toe. I'm all, I saw him bono, I'm going to $10,000. I'm money. When you talk about setting the trends, right. are they good trends? Do, would you classify them as good trends that you would want young girls who are looking up to you to follow? Or um, they're just trends? They're just, you know. I dress the way how I feel. I don't dress expecting people to also dress like me. Okay. So if a young girl is looking at me and she likes the way I dress and she wants to emulate it, so be it. I always want to project confidence. Okay. Be confident in what you're doing because I'm confident in what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're confident. Make sure you're ready to receive the backlash. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I never purposely want to want people to follow my footsteps or whatnot. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you know, me, me too, I also saw the trend somewhere. And I also felt comfortable doing it. Mm, yeah. Share. Share. Okay. I love the way Cher dresses. Yeah. And Cher is super confident in the way she dresses back mm -hmm. in, in the 70s. Mm -hmm. Even the things that she was wearing was in the 70s. Yeah. Showing her stomach, her mm -hmm. legs, her thighs, and all those things. Like, and, I, and, and I could relate with her outfits. I feel like if I was bigger, I wouldn't be as comfortable to wear those things. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Get it. Also, know your size and know, and know what not to wear and what to wear okay. according to your size. Mm -hmm. If I was a big, big girl, if I had huge boobs, I doubt I would wear the things that I wear now. Mm -hmm. I would probably cover up a bit more. Yeah. But no, for no, me, need Me, no, Eh? 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 cups, B cups. <laughs> so I always say, like, be confident in what you're doing and always be ready to receive the backlash that comes with it. Moisha Budong is going through a lot. Mm. Are you friends with her? Were you ever friends with her? Yes, Moisha and I were friends some time ago. Um, we stopped being friends, and then when I when we went on UTV, I think it's like three years ago or four yeah. years ago, they obviously made us um, um, ma ma made up again. Yeah. So when she was going through her whole issues, we we weren't friends. Okay. We weren't enemies, and. I felt like it wasn't my business. Okay. If she ever reached out to me, which she did recently. Oh, she did? Yes. She said, if you're not, I love your song. She wants to help me promote it. But I really feel like I don't want to, um, what's the word? Like, I don't, <sighs> she's going through something. I know Moesha. She's not who she is. Okay. I can tell okay. that she's going through something. Okay. And obviously, I feel like she does need medical um, attention. attention. Yeah. I'm not saying she's crazy, but she's not who I know she is. Or maybe she's a different person. I mean, okay. she said now she's changed, Change. but she's not the same. Okay. Moesha doesn't crave attention like she is like she's now. Doing now. Now. Yeah. It's different. I mean, I feel like she just she missed it. Honestly, that's my opinion because after the whole issue with the, the born pastor, the born and, again, uh -huh, she was off the limelight for like. A whole year or so. But the way like... she's doing it now is different. Moesha would never come on her Snapchat and come and do acting. Oh, oh. She would never do that. Yeah. She would never go to the club and dance crazy while there's and cameras yeah, are on. Yeah. She wouldn't do that. And she's posted like seven to eight times in a day. She doesn't Instagram. do that. She doesn't do that. As I'm saying, she's not the same. So when she reached out to help promote your music, what did you say to I her? I said, oh, thank you so much, Moesha. I really appreciate it. And that was that. Would you want her to do that for you? When she's okay. I don't want to ride on. Exactly. Okay. I'm not a clout chaser, because I am the clout. Hey! <laughs> No shame. If, yeah. Yeah. if whatever happened between you and Kwesiata, if he decides and says, you know what, this girl has been my ride or die for so many years. I feel like we should make things up. Are you open to that? Oh. Oh, let me tell you. Okay. And I'm a very forgiving person. Okay. But I'm not stupid. I'll forgive, but I'll never forget. And it'll be so hard for me to be the same with the person again, with everyone, even friends that have backstabbed me and they came back wanting to be friends again. No, there's always that space that's just, it's just not the same. Mm -hmm. I'll be cool with you, but I, you're not going to get the same if you're a dog. Okay. 
Yeah, so I mean, I always wish Cressy luck in everything that he does. There's oh, releasing you and they will be promoting. Oh, nah, you not do that again. You might have to pay for it, okay? Yeah. But you would listen to it, nah, but not you. Ah, until you cry. Mm -mm. I ain't got no hate in my blood, but I don't know how to be fake, like, I don't know how to put pretend like everything is okay like I'm too real I feel like I'm too real for the media you know and I'm so real and I'm such a good person that I actually protect him I protect his image because I could have been a grimy person and came out and said A to Z but Charlie who here yeah. you get what I'm saying karma's a bitch and God God always got my back for real for real have you heard from Rev Low <laughs> since your breakup <laughs> <laughs> we're good. We're actually cool. Yeah, we're no actually way. yeah, we're actually cool. Like, After all that, yeah, we're actually cool. Like you talk on phone, you text. not on phone, but like Snapchat. We still follow each other on Snapchat. Um, my uncle, my uncle did an opening for his um, hotel. He was there. We said hi. We're actually cool. No way. Yeah, time heals wounds. So mm -hmm. maybe three years from now, I can be cool because the other. <laughs> but time, yeah, me and Rev, we're cool. We're cool. That is that is interesting, isn't it? Right? <laughs> have you have you dated anyone since? I was in a like so after Rev and I broke up. I was dating someone for three years, and we broke up last year December. Sister Fia, stole door, Pacho. Pacho, you sister Fia now. Where he are? Where he is? Yeah, the person, but like, yeah, the person we dated for three years. Um, but I learned so much from that relationship. Like, I learned how to be private okay. and I learned to value and love myself, okay. you know. So, yeah, why did it end? Did you end it or did the person end it? Or it was he just ended it, he ended it, um, out of nowhere. It caught me off guard, yeah, because we were so tight, oh. family was involved, and everything. Oh. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, I even had to go to America to go heal. Wow. Yeah, it was that bad. It was wow. like, I was crying every day for like three months. Oh, every day, sorry. every day I was crying. I was listening to Jackie Far Away. <laughs> even Far Away, yeah. It's me, but Jackie, it was something to me. Yeah, it Jackie, why I'm born on Because I can relate to every single yeah. word in the song. Oh. Yeah, me so yo. Oh. But to be in me for me, no, like no guy can ever get me again like Are that. Are you sure? Because after oh, Rev, I was like, nobody's gonna break nah. this heart. Rev and I dated for a short time; it was only three months. Okay. This guy we dated for three, for three years. years. That's a long time. Exactly. Yeah. So, and I, like I said, I learned so much about myself. I learned so much. Are you still open to love? I mean, you're called love. So. I'm called love because I love people, but the romantic love, I'm not. I'm not close to it, but it's not my focus. Like I'm not even attracted to men. Like, now it's all about getting to the bag, <laughs> getting to the money. And yes, you can't remain from me. See kind of way. Open me there. I need double stacks, six zeros. If you have, before I let you go, <laughs> you and Shatamichi, you have a sworn enemy in common. But there's not much enemy. Shatawale, he's not my enemy, yo. One thing you find, yo. Shatamichi is not fine with Shatawale, but we are seeing a budding relationship between the two of you. Shata must be shitting his pants right now. Saying, oh. <laughs> what is going on with these two girls? Are they about to well, attack the, me The or funny something? thing is, Shatawale always wanted me, Michelle and I to be friends. Like, even back then, when he and I were very cool, he always wanted us to be friends. You get what I'm saying? Michelle and I never had beef. We were never enemies. Yeah. Like, I even, I've even been to her house before while Chateau Wale and I were cool. Mm -hmm. But it's because of the reality show, GH Queens, yeah. that's going to come out this year. Um, she's also on the show. So it's through the show that we actually even became more cool, okay. more okay. tight. Where we, okay. we have each other's numbers. Okay. We're following each other on Instagram and Snapchat. Okay. I was on her show last week. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> It, but but honestly, it, it, it caught me off guard because I never thought Shay and I would actually become as cool as we are yeah. now. I I was even resisting it from the beginning. Yeah. But now it's like I've accepted it, and she's 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 a sweet bitch. Oh my god! I'm like, I'm, I'm sure when Shatawale sees photos of the two of you, he's gonna be like, Yo, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. atomic bomb in the bag. Oh, but he knows. He knows me. I'm I'm like I'm not like that. Like I'm I'm such a I'm such a positive person. Like. I would never do anything out of spite mm -hmm. or like, yeah, no, nah, I'm, 
Nobody, nobody cares about him that much to even want to even do anything against After him. all you've experienced in life, since you moved to Ghana, all the drama you've had, everything, what is your mantra now? Get into the bag. Honestly, everything is about money for me right now. Okay. Ain't no friends. Okay. There's no friends in the industry. Okay. Everyone's a user. Mm -hmm. Whether they're good users or bad, bad users, users, everyone's a user. So I got to make sure that my eyes are open. There's no friends. Okay. Everyone's an associate. You get what I'm saying? And everything is about money. Okay. So if you, if you need me in a certain way, you won't get the effort that I used to get it for free. Now you got to pay up. Okay. Yeah. I like the attitude. Thank you. So tell us, what <laughs> should we... You've introduced yourself and get into the bag. What should the fans of Ifia Odo, who have, you know, followed you for so many years, mm -hmm. and now you're coming out with a new identity... Does that mean it's going to be all about music now? Or Ninety percent me. Well, eighty percent music. I also have other business. I have a restaurant that I'm opening very soon. It's called Cafe de Amor. Okay. Um, yeah. So everything is about business for me. So the music, the businesses, um, the acting is still going on. Mm -hmm. The reality shows and stuff. But mm -hmm. the majority of my life right now is the music. Okay. Yeah. So I honestly just want people to watch out. Like obviously, <sighs> support me. Because, and yeah, going to me, people might think, say, I'm joking, but I, the, the music is a passion of mine. So yeah. just be open-minded to what I'm bringing. Okay. It's something new and it's fresh. It's a, it's a, it's a breath of fresh air yeah. for my music videos. I have a choreographer. I have a diet. I go to the gym. Like, I'm not playing Beyonce around. Beyonce level shit. Thank you. <laughs> when you guys see my performances, you hey. die. Hey. <laughs> I swear, honestly. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm hyped for the next one. Yeah, the next so, song should be out in February. In February? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's called Sika, so yeah, be stay tuned for that. Sika, Sika in no February. <laughs> stay tuned, guys. If you have a show, my freestyle will be near fine this show. Sika no way. So open me down, I need double stacks. Six zero, never stingy with the narrow. Fit the category, then you must be my hero. No zeros on the table, don't fuck with scares. Trying to f Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you thank so you. much thank for, you for coming. Having me. You're thank always you. a vibe, <laughs> thank and you for me. we wish you all the success. Thank you in your music career. Thank you. I really need it because Charlie, I'm gonna put Ghana on the map. Don't worry. Period. Okay.